Hello everybody, in this video we're going to cover what the GNSS e-bubble calibration consists of. My name is Evan Traxler, I'm an applied geospatial engineer here at Frontier Precision and I am based out of the Maple Grove, Minnesota office. So what is a GNSS e-bubble calibration? The GNSS e-bubble uses the accelerometer in the receiver to provide an electronic representation of the degree of tilt of the receiver. GNSS e-bubble calibration aligns the accelerometers in the receiver to the physical sensor used to measure tilt. So the first type of calibration we're going to look at is calibrating to the vial. This allows you to calibrate to the physical vial on your rod or pole. As long as your pole is well calibrated and the pole is known to be straight and optimal, you're good to go to use this type of calibration. So here's just a look at how to do the calibration uh, to the vial itself. So we're just here on the map screen. And to access this, we're going to click on the menu button in the upper left hand corner of your map screen. Then we're going to look to go down to where it says instrument. And then you'll see tilt sensor options near the bottom. We'll go ahead and click on that. Now you're going to Look down where it says calibrate at the bottom of the screen and you have two options. You want to make sure your calibration to vial is uh, selected and then you will want to hit uh, the calibrate button that is uh, up on the top. During this, I was just ensuring that my rod is uh, perfectly plumb, which you can use on your, you're using the vial on your rod to just ensure that you are uh, indeed level. And then when you're good, you're able to click that calibrate button, which will bring you into uh, begin the calibration process. Here is just letting you know uh, to make sure that your receiver uh, with calibrated reference and brace it against so there's no movement. And then when you just hit the start button, it will just begin uh, the calibration. And it'll be prompted with the progress with just the percent complete uh, here in the middle of the screen. And once it gets to 100%, it will let you know that the uh, calibration was completed successfully. And there you go. Once it goes back to this main screen, you're good to go. The second way to calibrate is calibrating to the IMU. This allows you to calibrate to the e-bubble that is located uh, within your receiver head. So this is only good for using the R12i or the R980 GNSS receivers since they have the IMU within them. Uh, the calibration happens through the usage of the IMU, which stands for Inertial Measurement Unit, which is actually located in your receiver. So here we're going to go through the process of calibrating to uh, your IMU. So we're going to go with the menu button again. We're going to go down to Instrument, and then again, Tilt Sensor Options. And similar to calibrating to the vial, you're going to want to click on the calibration button near the bottom. And this time you're going to select on IMU and then calibrate. Here, if it's not already keyed in, you want to key in your antenna height. Let me add this in two meters and then accept. And now you're going to want to level up your E bubble here on the right side of the screen. You want to make sure that shows perfectly center. And once you're good, it will give you a green kind of bubble. And this was my second time uh, completing the e-bubble calibration. So it gives you a just a little notice saying, hey, you're uh, a certain degree off of your previous calibration. Uh, is that good enough for you? And you can go ahead and hit OK, which will prompt you into the calibration process, just like the calibrating to a vial. Again, ensuring that you do not move because the e-bubble will shift uh, with any movement to the rod or receiver. 
when the calibration is done, it will shoot you back to the sensor calibration uh, screen. And that'll be it. Thank you guys for coming and seeing this video. Here's just uh, our locations for Frontier Precision. And if you guys ever have any issues or need support or anything at all, here are our different uh, locations with our office numbers. And thank you guys for watching.